Hi everyone, Kelly Callahan of Algorand. I am here today with our friends from Attestive. I'm joined by Manny, who is their head of engineering, and we're going to talk to him about his experience of building on Algorand, how he selected it, how he's gone about deploying his solution, which is very innovative in the insurance industry. Manny, will you take a minute to introduce yourself? I'm Manny Parasarakis. I am the VP of engineering and one of the co-founders of Attestive. That's awesome. And what does Attestive do in a quick, quick nutshell? Um, Attestive validates and authenticates digital media. Um, and we do this by fingerprinting uh, images and vi video and other types of media. Um, what we do mean by fingerprint is that we, uh, we take a look at the file and we come up with a unique signature for the contents in it. Um, and then we write that information to the blockchain uh, so that at any point in the future, we can go back and validate whether or not an image that you may have um, has been altered or not. Amazing. And this is specifically for the insurance industry. So we've uh, insurance is our the first industry that we've uh, started that we've focused on. Um, however, it's not limited to just insurance. Okay. And did the idea for tamper proof imagery come first or leveraging the power of blockchain or how sort of did the intersection of blockchain and the ideas of the what the business value could bring come to come to fruition? So we actually began um, initially looking at public safety. So like police departments, for example, um, you know, a lot of times they take pictures and then they need to submit them for you know, legal evidence. Um, and so the idea sort of formed from that. And um, it sort of migrated into, um, into the insurance industry as we continued uh, you know, through the process of understanding the needs. Um, and the technology, ultimately, we needed something to, somewhere to store the data that was um, not controlled by us, but was pretty much open and available for anyone to access and look at. So that's where blockchain came into play. We could write our fingerprints out into the blockchain and thereby allowing users to, to access that data and that information on the blockchain um, outside of using um, any of our tools. That basically keeps us from being these, the critical point of failure, if you will. Right. Gotcha. Understood. Okay. That's amazing. Fantastic. And there's nothing else that exists quite like this, right? Correct. As far as we know. Yeah. Uh, when you went down the path of evaluating blockchain options and how to go about both selecting one and implementing, can we talk a little bit about that? How did you end up at, you know, I know you're, you're building your solution on Algorand. How did you arrive at, at Algorand being an ideal um, platform for you to do this on? So early on, we, we realized that there was so much change going on in blockchain. There were a lot of different providers. So we needed a way to sort of insulate ourselves from that. So we created what we refer to as the abstraction layer, which allowed us to plug in different vendors' implementations. So we started initially with Ethereum. However, the issue we ultimately had with that, and we realized pretty quickly, was that um, the financials really didn't work with Ethereum. So we, we never ended up releasing anything uh, that used Ethereum. We then you moved to another vendor. Um, they ultimately ran into uh, financial difficulties. And so we, we basically had the architecture already set up for us to plug in another vendor. We had actually st uh, started uh, looking at Algorand and speaking with Algorand um, a while back. Um, and we liked what we saw. Um, we actually went into their offices and, um, and, and talked to them face to face. And then finally, we, we ultimately decided like, you know, had all the functionality we needed. Um, the financials worked. Uh, it was a company, it was financially stable. Um, so we went with it. And I'm assuming that plugging into a, a public open infrastructure is sort of at the heart of, of knowing what's been tampered or not. So I'm, I'm assuming that was an important point for you. Yes, that's that's yeah. a really critical piece, just because we if we just store the information in our database, what makes us sort of the 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 
I guess the the vault, the keeper of the knowledge, the, right? Correct, right, 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 right. The keeper of the okay. knowledge, um, and so that's that is ultimately where where Algorand uh, comes in. Great, good to hear. Uh, and then you, I know that you're you're working to launch, and you've got some great things coming up, and you're sort of building this all out on Algorand. Can you talk about the as an engineer? Can you talk about sort of that integration and developer experience, and and how that's been? Because you know Algorand being relatively new, um, I don't know that there's a you know we've, there's hundreds of companies that are leveraging Algorand, but in terms of uh, the process and developing and engineering that and, and migrating and building it all, can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Well, one of the first things I actually look for is um, documentation and how how much documentation is there. I take a, a deeper look at it and what's the quality of it, because that's ultimately going to determine um, how quickly we're going to be able to integrate and implement. So uh, the documentation is in you know was was plentiful. Um, we were able to go in, follow the instructions to create. Um, to create the first pass of our implementation. And it took us basically, it took us about two days to do the implementation. And that's it? Initial set of tests, yep, that's right, two days. Um, so it took us, let's say, about a day of implementation, a day of testing, just to get the first in integration done and working. So that was, that was to get us to, you know, it was plugged into our platform we had it running. We were able to write data out to the blockchain. We were able to read it back um, as needed. Um, so that was our first pass. Then we started to, you know, look at some other features um, that were useful for us. Uh, for example, atomic transactions, or sorry, atomic transfers. We looked at. Um, so we took another couple of hours and implemented that. Um, and then we ultimately had the full, you know, the full implementation. Uh, still, we're now we're still within a week's time, um, and we're able to start pushing it and testing it deeper. Um, we did initially start with uh, using Pure St the Pure Stake API. Pure Stake is one of the partners um, mm -hmm. of Algorand, and that allowed us. That was actually a critical piece to get us up and running in in two days. Quickly, right? Because of their plugins, right? That's right. You can stand up the nodes quick, yeah. Yeah. So we didn't have to worry about running a node, um, and that allowed us to get to that point very quickly. Um, then as we started um, looking deeper and deeper, we ultimately decided that, um, you know, it, it, for our purposes, it made sense for us to run our own node. Um, you know, it took us, again, we're still within the first week, so we spent, I think, probably about another day or so to get um, a node up and running. Um, against the test net. Yeah. So this allowed us to, we, we actually, at that time, uh, now um, started, com uh, configured our system to work directly against our, um, the node that we had brought up. So um, again, all within about a week, um, I would say at that That's point, great. get That's the great. implementation done, a little bit of uh, testing, and then bringing up a node. Um, so, that's, and what, what comes what comes next for you from from an engineering perspective for a testive and, and blockchain what's next um, so honestly the next piece of this is um, is we're testing further we're actually starting to test massive amounts of data and pushing massive amounts of data so if we have a customer who comes along and has you know um, you know some sort of automated system, and they need to push maybe, you know, ten thousand fingerprints or fifty thousand fingerprints to the system. Uh, we want to make sure that the system, uh, that everything on our end and everything all the way through into the blockchain, um, is going to continue to stand up and um, and function all the way through. So that's that's kind of where we're at right now. Awesome, great. Well, the Algorand platform looks forward to. Uh, seeing all that activity and, and having people like you and innovation like you happen on it. So I think that's great. Uh, what tips as we close out here, what tips do you have for someone that's sort of starting down this path, whether that's on the evaluation stage or on the standing up and building stage? Like what would you suggest any tips or tricks, pointers, like the best things you've learned in this in this process? Because you've seen a few different versions of things. Yeah, I would I would definitely say start start with the documentation, follow the, you know, the get the getting started steps. 
Um, I use pure stake to start. It's the quickest way to get an, an yeah. implementation going. Um, and then um, start simple, right? Do, do a read, do a write. Don't worry about the more uh, advanced features initially. And then once you have the core running, just incrementally add um, these additional features you need, which is exactly how we approached it. Yeah. That's awesome. Great. Wonderful. Manny, thank you of Attestive for joining us here today. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and for more information, please be sure to visit developer.algorand.org on how to get started on building out on Algorand. Thanks. <laughs>